Hi all, so I just want to introduce you today to something a little bit special we've got in stock, that being this beautiful SQ7. I say beautiful, it's really more of a brute in truth. It's a, a really aggressive looking car. Now, I love these vehicles. I think they're superb. I mean, firstly, I just want to touch on the night black and how good this vehicle looks. It looks so aggressive sort of throughout. Uh, you've got the upgraded 22 inch wheels here uh, these are massively influential to the look of this vehicle i think they just again give it such a good aggressive stance uh, you've got upgraded calipers in terms of their painted red with the s emblem on there again just giving it a really aggressive contrast throughout it's a very very clean example of this it's uh, it's really well looked after you've got upgraded sliding panoramic roof it is december that's not going to be open um, it is powered by a four litre v8 it is actually a diesel and i never thought i'd say this but for a diesel the vehicle sounds really really good so i will touch on the exhaust notes in a moment but when you've got it in dynamic mode with the, with the valves open it's got a really nice burble and a really good low tone to it you can see the really aggressive quad pipes there you, I mean, you know when you look at this vehicle exactly, it isn't just a normal SQ7, it has so many telltale signs, the arches are flared, I mean the wheels, it just looks such a good car. As you can see down the near side, really clean. Funnily enough though, although it is a 4 litre V8 diesel, it still meets all the clean air zone, u layers, etc. So you can drive this car in and around London, Bristol, Bath, all these areas that are now clamping down on emissions without any issue, which I think is quite funny. Um, I'm gonna jump inside now and give it a spin. There's loads of toys and trinkets inside. Great level of spec, this one. So I can't wait to introduce you and show you to the bits. So you join me now for a good test drive in this Audi SQ7. Now, there's loads of things I could touch on really first, and that could be the amount of spec this car's got or that unbelievable four litre V8 twin turbo engine that this car boasts but the first thing i actually want to touch on are the basics now i'd love audi as a brand and i also like the q7 now the first thing i really want to bring to light is that seven that magical number now a lot of vehicles and manufacturers claim that their car is seven seats but actually when you face it they're five plus two and even then at best that plus two is probably plus two small kids this car categorically and proudly can put his name against the fact that it is a thoroughbred seven seat. You can get seven grown adults in the vehicle. So that's a very big box ticked personally for me is that it's very transparent. It does what it says on the tin. Now, when everyone thinks Audi, they sort of already know what to expect. Audi brand synonymous with, I guess, build quality and reliability and etc. And this car is no exception to that. I mean, the interior fit and finish for this SQ7 is sublime really. Now, I'm not one with the biggest vocabulary, but if I did, I promise you I'd still manage to run out of superlatives to describe this vehicle inside and out and, and how well it drives because it is such a beautiful and capable car. It, it, it's, almost, it's almost a bit astonishing, really, how well it can just deliver everything. I mean, it, it really is that good of a car. Now, I mean, I mentioned the interior. You can see this brushed aluminium that runs through the center console. I mean, everything I touch feels well-made. It almost feels like the designers weren't using someone else's money, that it personally was invested to them. It was their own money. It was almost as if someone said, if you make this with your own money, you can have the profits back. And they treated it that way and they just put they just put a bit of soul into it and everything just feels, it feels like someone cared. And that is a really nice feature when you're inside a car. It just feels like the people who designed and made this car cared and they, they, they really gave a, about it. it. It really does sort of sing that 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 to me there's no cheap plastics everything feels great all the knobs make good twisty sounds they feel good the, they just again it's a it's a beautifully well put together vehicle this now i do want to come back to what i glossed over it that v8 i mean wow it is a brilliantly capable vehicle this now we're coming into a national i'm just going to open it up a little bit and the, oh, the pick up and pull on that is unbelievable i mean I was probably 400 yards in behind the vehicle and probably now 15 yards behind it really is that quick it's such a capable vehicle but at the same time i took it for a bit of a a gentle blast if you if you will on some of the beautiful b-rows we've got up there and it is a heavy car and it is a big car but it's very forgiving it's very it's very good in the corners the steering's direct the power delivery is brilliant i just it's a very capable vehicle and it i don't know it's just 
it does everything well because it, it the same aspect if i throw it now back into efficiency it it will raise the ride height a little bit and it just bring that sense of normality back where you almost forget you have got a twin turbo four liter v8 underneath the hood ready to pounce but at the same time the roads we've got back there are really awful they're they're, they're, they're terrible but even in dynamic mode the ride isn't harsh it still comes with that air suspension this vehicle's got is superb it works really really well now in terms of this vehicle itself the spec we touched on the exterior bit so i want to bring on like some more of the optional extras and in, in interior gears ga gadgets and gizmos this car's got the first one are the speaker systems their bose surround sound a really big feature to have personally for me when i look for a vehicle has it got a good or upgraded speaker system quite often it's one of the first things i need or look for the second one is head-up display i know a lot of people are very caught upon that the hud is actually brilliant i think it works really really well it's very bright it's a very misty cloudy day today but everything's right where it needs to be and very clear and concise Secondly, or thirdly, I should say, virtual cockpit. I don't know if anyone's been stuck between two Audis or test-driven two Audis before, but personally for me, if one's got the virtual cockpit and one hasn't, I know which one I'd be choosing. The virtual cockpit makes such a big difference to your quality of life or your, your driving experience when you're sat in the driver's seat. To have that virtual cockpit in front of you just makes such a big difference. All your normal creature comforts you'd expect. Heated seats, of which I've got one on full because it's basically cold today. Cruise control, uh, jaws and climate control, reverse camera, front and rear sensors, electric seats, etc. It's got all the bits and toys you need and that you'd expect with a vehicle like this. LED lights, and you've got the high beam assist as well. So driving at night, you're well taken care for. I'm sure there's a plethora of other features I've forgotten about. But that's it for a good test drive. Really impressed with this vehicle. I think it's such a brilliant vehicle. Um, yeah, that's it. We'll jump on to some of the other features now. So you join us now for the infamous sound test on this Audi SQ7. I actually just want to highlight, I mentioned earlier some of the knobs and buttons that have good sounds. I just want to bring the mic a little bit closer so you can get a bit of a appreciation. It's almost like some weird ASMR in this car, but everything just... Everything just feels good and solid and well made as I as I made to your attention. But importantly, I just want to touch on the, the sound checks. So the first one's going to be the indicator. Ooh. So Nath's with us today. Nath is um, sort of replaced Harry today, really, in terms of a bit of a cameraman and and second opinion on these things. So we bought into the indicator stalk noise as well. Now the stalk itself is that's a really good noise that is. The stalk's got a really solid noise. The stalk's an eight for me. The indicator itself, I like that. It sounds premium. It sounds very, you wouldn't forget it's on. The BMWs you did yesterday were too quiet. This is just right, this is. A good two tone on the tick as well. I'm gonna go 7.8 indicator, eight on the stalk. We're onto the horn now. We're in the yard, so we might summon someone, but here goes. Again, it's too quiet. It's not. We're in a big SUV. It needs. To, it needs to be more. It needs to mature again. It's not. It's not a, what a big V8 SUV should be. I mean, have you got any thoughts on that, Nath? I think for me personally, that's the horn of I'm picking the kids up for football practice, and not I'm a big V8. Get out of my way. I'd like a little bit more grunt. That's I'm what it honest. needs, doesn't it? You almost better just revving the car. More grunt. What, what would you rate it though? We haven't given a rating on the horn yet. I'm gonna. Well, I'll go for it. Mine's six point two on that based I'm, on. I'm harsher. I'm you're harsher. harsher. I, I'm much harsher. Five point five max. That's the lowest you've had. Wow. There you go. Wow. I've got to have stage Harry somehow. Well, you've heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. There we. That is a shocking turn of events. That is. Audi, up your horn game. So instead of doing a boot test, which would be pointless because I promise you could live in the back of one of these, I wanted to do a rear seat test. We've got the rear seats up, they're both electric actually, so, but we'll do a quick demonstration of that a bit later as well. But I wanted to sort of back up my words when I said this probably is the best seven seat in the market. So I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration how easy it is to get in and out. Now firstly, I'm six foot one and a little bit I think, so it's no easy feat for me to cram in the back of a vehicle. But just like this, assisted seats no heavy lifting everything's really easy now all i've got to do is just walk in it's that straightforward now i've actually got a fair bit of leg room i've probably got 
two, three inches from my knees to the backs of the seat. Had rooms a little bit tight, but yeah, you could comfortably put some mileage in this car and, and not be claustrophobic or uncomfortable. So as a seven seat, I think these vehicles are, are up there. They're definitely, they're probably definitely the best in the market for it. So I just wanted to explain to you a little bit how the rear seats work as well. Here, all it is is just two buttons to press. It's not rocket science. Uh, these buttons are also on the middle A pillars as well, so you can use them both in the rear and if you're trying to access the boot here. But as you can see, even with the seats up in truth, now nothing's been moved since I did the rear seat test, but you can see there's a fair amount of room actually. And I tell you what, I know I said we weren't gonna do a boot test because it's pointless with the seats down, but I'd be interested in, can we do a boot test with the seats up? What do you think, Harry? Have I got, this could be a little bit tight, but well, firstly, I'm in quite nicely. That's not too bad, you know, mate. I think that's a pass. So that's it for a good piece on our SQ7. Hope you enjoyed the video. The vehicle is available and it's in stock. So if it's something you're after or you've got any questions or queries about this car or anything else in the car right stock, speak to Jack or Craig in sales. They'll both be able to look after you. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a like, comment and a subscribe because that greatly helps us out as a small independent business. And yeah, thank you for watching. Cheers.